What's up, y'all? Uh, I got a family feed, so let's get into this tea. Cub back behind me handling business, but he will jump in when yeah, need yeah. be. What, what up, Cub? So, fan react to standout moments during the Super Bowl is what we are about to get into, okay? Now, a lot of people are just really not here for this whole Alicia Keys thing, but her husband, Swiss Beats, he don't care. So I think we should just stick with that. He don't care. We don't care. You feel what I'm saying? Um, if Swiss be saying, if he ain't got nothing to say, why we got anything to say? Okay, so let's get into it. Oh, uh, what does it say? Beyonce basically proposed that Usher's wedding. What does that mean? Why everybody keep saying that? Because uh, Usher came and did everything he said he was going to do. The undisputed king of R&B and the best male performer of generation, period. Facts, but I still don't understand why that Beyonce reference is there. All right, how it started versus how it's going. Who would have thought? Thank you, Usher. Didn't even know her had already performed at a Super Bowl before, or am I tripping? I ain't never seen that bit. I'm, she was a little girl. Okay, you don't see it. What? Well, you can see it. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, I don't remember that bit either. But that's what's up. Shout out to her. When she came out there, I was like, who is that? Her! This is somebody's wife. Usher needs his ass whooped. This is insane. I'm talking about Usher gave her a back hug of a lifetime. Do you hear me? <laughs> so let me ask you this question, cuz. I don't like it. Whatever you asking, and I wouldn't have liked it. Let me it. ask you this question, cuz, and everybody else in the comments, cuz. All right. Did that not make y'all feel like that was his boo? I plead the fifth. I'm, be, be honest. No, I ain't no fifth pleading. Be honest. Yes. Did that make you feel like that yes. was simple? Mission freaking accomplished. What song are they singing? My boo. Thank you. First Play of all, who role. you yelling at? Who Play, you nah, yelling nah, at? Nah, that. Because y'all getting, it's ridiculous. <laughs> He's playing a role. What if this was a movie? How much it money? Ain't. How much money did he make her? None. No, he did it for free. They all didn't do it for free. No, everybody did it for no, free. No, that's cap. You're right. He had a budget. He paid them. He have to pay them. But How his much, music sales went up. And her music sales went up regardless. How much money did they pay her? I don't know. This is a movie role. They are at work. They are. He ain't smashing Alicia Keys. No, he just giving her the idea of smashing, rubbing his Peter all on her booty, and then grabbing her from the bed. Mission accomplished. And then she like, ah! My boo second boo. My mm -mm. second boo is ridiculous. <laughs> mission freaking accomplished. The mission was accomplished. I can't argue with that. Usher got so many hits and these songs keep changing every five seconds. It's hard to keep up. Oh, God. We was like, started when we were my daddy. Oh. <laughs> Although he didn't do daddy's home, which he absolutely should have done. Definitely should have did daddy's home. He could have. What song could he have kept out? No, no, it was a perfect form. Perfect he could have kept out my way. I don't care what he talking about. He could have put in daddy's home over my way. Argue with your mother. Damn. <laughs> Taylor, the moment Chief scored the winning touchdown. Girl, sit down. Don't nobody care. First of all, I don't know why they are like Taylor Swift in the out of the Super Bowl right now, but it's not needed, quite frankly. And then... Not only did they Taylor Swift the hell out of the Super Bowl, um, what's this child name beside her? I spice the sh out of Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift, Taylor Swift did the the Super Bowl with Ice Spice, which will do some good for Ice Spice. I wish she had a chain on or a damn sticker that said Ice Spice, because I'm sure a lot of people did not did know not who know she who was. That was. But uh, um, is that Shirley Temple? Is that, who the hell is this Shirley Temple girl at? Uh, girl, beside Taylor. You know what I'm saying? That's a mulatto. She's a mulatto, okay? They was looking because they wanted to know. All right? But, yeah, here we are with that. Jesus. Huh? I said, this was an easy one. She ain't cuss at all in this one. Oh, there. Thank you, Lord. Uh, the purple hair. Uh-oh. <laughs> all right, someone see if this man is okay. <laughs> Why is he in the air like that? Who tossed him in the air? Oh, <laughs> Yo, I'm sure he's fine. <clears throat> see y'all in March, okay? And see y'all in August, baby, because we're going. First of all, the show, I mean, the tickets go on sale. So let me ask you a question, Cub. What the f 
<laughs> I was talking about <laughs> the tickets. <laughs> Let me ask you a question, cuz. What? Because y'all talking about going to the concert. We ain't talking about it. We going. All right. So if he come and touch up on Honey's house, how you going to act? I'm going to be pissed. Are you going to stop him? Hell no. <laughs> All right. So what you mean? But no, no. no. If, if Honey Sauce had to be. Oh, I hear what you're saying. Well, he going to be in concert. But had we been at the um the residency, because that's way more intimate. I would have been like, oh, damn. He about to. T- oh, he taking him. Oh, he grabbed him from the back. Oh. Listen. Usher does these same things, if not more, at his concerts. Okay, honey sauce, I'm gonna make sure we in the nosebleed. So, <laughs> so ain't Usher ain't gotta no grab Usher in the day. And, <laughs> and then, honey sauce, come here, please. What position would she be put in if Usher did this? Cause if Usher was like, honey she sauce, have to get honey up. sauce. What? You if I, if Usher up. put his hand out for you like this, you grabbing it. Yeah, that's damn right. right. That's Usher. You better grab it. First of all. No, hold on, hold on. Let me talk. Quit yelling at me. <laughs> First of all, you better grab his hand. Second of all, she won't be the problem. It's going to be me looking like, ah, ah. You're going to be pissed. <laughs> I wouldn't be pissed. I wouldn't be pissed. That's would Usher. Not. You know what would piss me off, though, like realistically? Y'all, I wouldn't be pissed. I would be shooketh. But I wouldn't be pissed. But what will f me up is if he took her backstage. Man, like, like I know, I know he's not doing that. But what I'm saying is if he was like here and then he was like, yeah, y'all, I'm going to take her backstage. You know, that's some shit R. Kelly would have did. I'm going to go ahead and take her backstage and uh, handle that for the rest of the night. Would you go backstage? No. Nah, going backstage is a little too much. Going backstage is a lot. Going but some, a lot. some. On stage is a different. No, going on, on, on stage, stage is just fine. Who wouldn't go on stage? So let me ask you a question, honey sauce. Let's say y'all go to a Janet Jackson concert. I'm going on stage. Oh no, no. Ain't that ain't you. for you, that's for me. Oh, she going on stage. She going on stage. I'm going on I stage. Just wanna love you. You better and you better let her put the you. legs off mm. and chain you down. <laughs> Listen, okay. Janet, you can take over me, baby. And T.R. Taylor. Oh, oh my. my God. Uh, I will be sorry, honey sauce. Uh, oh! <laughs> and I'm not going to fuck you up God, Lee. Tiana, yeah. Tiana. I know. Sorry, honey sauce. But I feel like everybody has to deal with that when they go to a show. They got to. If you know you're going to a Usher show, you know. it's And you it's sitting in the front? Yeah. It's a likeliness for him to grab your woman. But some grown men be like, nah, hell nah, bro. And then all the women be like, mm-mm, got a man. And he be like, bet. He'll go right on yeah, to the next to one. the next one. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, look at you. That's your wasted chance. You could have went viral. Wanna... Child, honey sauce to be up there with a drink. Like, <laughs> if you want to grab, please grab. Okay. I'm right here. <laughs> you, what I will do is, oh, Usher done grab my <laughs> Yo, Usher done grabbed him. Listen, but would I be like, oh, hell no, nah, Usher, why the f would you? Nah, hell no, nah, that's cr. What can you say for real? He mad. He putting on the show. It's, it, was, it will be a show. Yeah, Please yeah. Please don't kiki palm on my video. <laughs> Man, Darius was sick. No, he wasn't. Yes, he was. Darius he was the one who had the. Because of the internet. The was internet that? made him feel bad because they showed the, they was like, well, if you was a real man, she would have never left the house with that on. He wasn't talking. Oh. I don't think he was talking much about the performance because, of course, he knows it's a it's Usher. He was talking about what she was wearing. Your mother, basically, is what he was getting with that. He could have kept that shit to himself because they if, made him talk about it. First of all, <laughs> he shouldn't have felt no type of way about what she wore in the first place. If you weren't gonna be there, if I mean, was, I'm just he saying. Was at, she was out of town, so why wasn't you out of town with her? She had to work. Why you wasn't with her? He was with the kid. Why you ain't with her? He still got you. You ain't traveling with her just because she got to work. That she got to she got to work. I'm at the crib. All right, you be back, but that don't mean when you if get you're gonna out of be town, the protector. If you're gonna be so protective, you should have been with her. That's just over. It wouldn't even happen. That's go. not overprotective. I'm, hold on, no, 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 no. I'm not saying she can't go out of town by herself. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying the role that he played in it, if that's how you was going to act, 
uh, you probably should have went with her. But she don't do that when he, in his mind, and this is how I'm feeling. When you home or when I am with you, you wouldn't have put that on. Mm -hmm. But now you outside by yourself. You want to act a fool? Yes, I'll have an issue with that. I mean, but what would make her... Well, I know what would make her go outside and put that on when he not around. Because obviously, he is on her meat about what she wear. I don't think any man... Didn't you say... Don't get me started. Didn't what? you say men supposed to be the protectors? Men are supposed to be the protectors. All yes. right. So, so let her wear what she want to wear. That also goes back into getting you out of situations you don't need to be in. So wearing what you want to wear is one of those situations because the world ain't thinking the way that you think it. God, I'm just doing this for me so I can look good. Y'all, no, they looking like that is a piece of meat. The reason why I'm saying this to him is because he was talking about, well, I was telling the, the kids that if y'all... Because they don't like to wash dishes. No children like to wash dishes. Right. Let's be very clear. But as little, you know, we have girls. So, you know, one day they're going to want a boyfriend and, you know, actually live with a man, things like that. So it's like, listen, sis, you're going to have to wash some dishes because that's what men like. Okay? That's what you're going to have to do. So we were speaking about that. And then he used the example for them because they feel as though... They should switch days. Mm -hmm. The girls feel as though the men should switch days with them to wash the dishes because some days I ain't going to want to wash the dishes. I said, that's not how it works. And then he said, don't you want to be protected? They instantly said, nigga, you ain't always got to protect me. (laughs) But my thing is, he's not wrong about that. Uh, It is a daily protection on a woman because of what she looks like, how she dressed, blah, blah, blah. That is a fact. But she is correct on it's not. Every day, it's not all day. It's just not. You got to wash dishes all day, every day. That's just a job that you got to do. So that that's not the same. But th- with that being said, I'm going to wear what I want then. And you protect me, nigga. What are we talking about? I'm saying that you that's putting, you put, you For putting, real, you is. putting as much of a full-time job as I am. And if you the one protecting me and you ain't got no, no fear and you the you man see, and all this. you believe it or not, protection from a man is all day, every day. Because just because you don't see it don't mean it's not happening. I still have to protect you. Like, in the house, okay, no. but in, in, That was my example because yeah, it's an everyday thing yeah, to wash still, dishes. Washing dishes is not an all-day thing. It's uh, not all-day. Day it's every day. But, right. And so it's protecting. When y'all step outside that house, protection starts for men. Absolutely. So that's a, it's like you don't see that. that you, you as a woman, you don't see I'm sorry, you, you, but you get it because you're more you're you're definitely quote protector. unquote the masculine role in this relationship. Yes. So and you no, see. if any of y'all looking at this and you like she a woman, she ain't gonna fight. You're right. I will shoot you in the face. You can continue. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely but right. Still, I don't fight men. You man. get the protection role, but as far as like men wise, because you you know you can't just go around shooting people in the face. Our protection starts by eliminating situations. I'm not about to just get hit in the face either. Right. Just I'm, saying. So it, the whole wearing what you want to wear and, and all that and your ass is out and, 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 and just bringing attention that don't need to be brought starts with put, that protection that men are limiting. I feel you. You know what I'm saying? So it's like if we can, if we can eliminate some stuff, let's eliminate some stuff. If you don't wear that shit when I'm with you, why the fuck would you wear that all the way to California. You're at an usher residency. Right. I, yeah, I'm going to wear what I want. I want to have a good time. I want to feel sexy. This is what I want to do. You ain't even here to protect me anyway. So what are you talking about? Makes it even worse because I'm not there to protect you. Man, you should have been there. with that boy. Because you should have been there. I mean, I'm just saying, if you felt some type of way about what I had on, you should have been there. He felt I don't no feel like- type of way about what she had on because he didn't think she was going to wear that. He found out about it through the internet. Cool. He felt some type of way. Why you ain't FaceTime her before she left? Why? Oh, why is the? Why is there a communication barrier there? Because my woman would have FaceTimed me. Oh, baby, look what I got on. You want to see? You want to know why? That's I would have seen it in the first that's place. That's what people ain't saying because that should have been Kiki's thing to do. What's that? Look what I'm wearing, babe. Look what I got on. Do you think this is sexy? Kiki ain't worried about what she had on. That's he is. So he the part. one who should have called. It's not fucked up to not. It if is. I, I'm going to wear what I want. But why you do it when I ain't around? Because you know it's wrong. Y'all wear gray sweatpants. I'm just saying. You What's know the difference? it's wrong. Gray sweatpants, I can't help that I'm endowed. Okay, you and they can't help ass, that they thick. No, that, no, because she had on a thong with a f- see-through. You can help that. And she didn't have on a, a 
covered dress. Then he can say, oh, babe, you just thick. No, you wanted people to see your ass. Yeah, she did. Yeah, so that's different than gray sweatpants. Not the same, cuz. <sighs> Cut it the f bit. You trying. No. But she's wrong. I'm just saying, cause she's grown. She's wrong. Yeah. She's grown. Respect in a rela you're in a relationship. Respect. Clearly, she don't respect the relationship in the first That's place. So say that. Disrespectful. She didn't respect it in the first place because... She did. Because she on, don't do it while she's I'm going to tell you why. It, she had every... I ain't going to say every right, but I would have wanted you to tell me or show me what you had on. Right. What what you was going to have on. Right. I would have wanted to see that. Because, A, I want to see you sexy. Right. And I need to make sure, you know, that you good while you outside. But I would have... I'm not going to lie. I would have been there. <laughs> I would have been there. I probably would have been the one to buy the damn outfit in the first place. But see, that's the prop. See, she the breadwinner. That's a different conversation. That's all. I'm, that's all I'm trying to say. Y'all hate those it's conversations. Still wrong though. You trying to take away? You're the fact not that buying she's my wrong. outfit. You're not there to protect it me. Matter. I'm, it does matter. Why does it matter? You said over. She didn't respect him. That's wrong. I wish we would have spoke about this when this happened. Right. So this would have yeah, been so good. It's still wrong. I, to, I, I would have punched her in the mouth. One thing, I would have been in jail for 30 days. <laughs> you come home, you See, walk that's in why the house, get shot in the I'm punching her in the mouth. You just, you so disrespectful. And you want me to protect your disrespectful ass. F you. Now I hit you in your mouth and you mad. You, you out and cut, you went, bit. ooh, y'all so f Y'all is just it's, evil. And y'all are controlling and insecure no, because and sensitive. If you have an issue with it, if she has an issue with it, then it should have been a conversation and she should have done the things in the beginning. So it's something he can get comfortable with. You either going to deal with it or you ain't. But don't you take your ass to an Usher concert and act brand new. You knew how I was. You know how I felt about this whole dress situation. And you're going to wait till you by yourself? You got the audacity. The reason why she waited till she was by herself, because clearly she has an insecure man at home that don't allow it. So don't. So don't. Don't allow it don't while she's be there. With the Let me ask you a question: When you Break tell your child, not, when you tell your child not to do something, they do it anyway, don't they? And when you find out about it, what you do, you tear their ass up. Yeah, not Just no so grown ass woman. Bad example. I set myself <laughs> up for it. I set myself up you for it. I set myself up. up for why it. Why you tear her ass up though? Let's just—it's a good example. But why do you tear their ass up? What the kids? Yeah. Oh, because obviously you broke my my rule. You're wrong, right? It's a rule because you feel some type of way about it. Even let's we put this in a grown ass perspective. We're in a relationship. There are boundaries. There is respect. I feel some type of way <laughs> about it. You should honor that respect, grown or not. We still got respect for each other. I'm not disagreeing with the respect for right, our part. So, I'm just saying I don't think it's any respect there in the first place. Right. Okay. So that's the part I feel like he isn't expressing. Like you sound like not you, but he sounds. That's, that's why I debunk it, cause. Right, you ain't let is, me finish. Huh? That, right. What you talking about? <laughs> the reason why I say I debunk it is because there is respect there. Which is why he's upset. Because she's not worrying if it wasn't respect. <laughs> Tell me if I'm wrong. If there wrong. wasn't respect there, she would wear these things while they're together. I'm with you, Don. So the camera right there. She she yeah, damn. Fight with me. I feel like, yeah, I don't want to be in your face. <laughs> if she didn't respect him, she would be wearing these things while they even together. She did it when she wasn't with him. Like some sneaky sh Like a kid, like you said. Oh, I can't do that when my daddy ain't around. So I'm going to just wait until he ain't around. And then I'm going to do this because I'm sneaky. First of all, shut up. <laughs> Second of all... <laughs> Second of all, she respects him, but she want to wait till she's not around him, right? So that, that shit you talking about, all that. You excuse me? I ain't done. See, one thing about me. I ain't done. Shut I up. I can't wait to talk. I ain't done. Shut up. I'm done. Go ahead. <laughs> one thing about men, and not all men. Not all I got to make that clear. Yeah. But for some reason, y'all think respect is what you are demanding when a woman is not doing what you feel uncomfortable with. Y'all think that is respect for the majority. Yes. Sometimes women are just in fear or don't want to deal with your while she's in front of you. 
Right. So yes, when she goes out of town, she decided you anyway. I'll deal with it when I get home. So maybe that would come with a punch in the face, or you would have to get shot after you attempt to punch me in my face. If I'm gonna punch you in your face, I know you going to the gun, so that gun gonna be unloaded. And that's unloaded. why you shouldn't tell your man all the time where all your guns are. Anyway, uh, <laughs> ladies, y'all better get this shit together. Um, some things you gotta keep a secret. Listen, <laughs> I'm just trying to. Um, that's what. With that being said, um, that's a shame because that's the truth. And then you know what. In in most instances, this is why in an anomaly of instances. Let's be real, like what in an anomaly of instances. Yes, when you don't plan for when that, you really have to. Yeah, when you really got to get up out of there, I get it. I completely yeah. But anyway, that's not what this is about, right? <laughs> I feel like some men love to. They feel like while she's in their eyesight, she's not going to do whatever he doesn't want her to do. And I feel like sometimes with women, hold on, sometimes with women, they will argue, like, I don't want you to wear that. I don't give a damn what you want. I'm going to wear it. So, I mean, what you going to do? You going to leave or what? What? Some women are actually like that. But then he'll still argue that she still decides she's going to wear what she want to wear. That means she does not respect how you feel because she wants to do what she wants to do. I feel like ultimately people should do what they want to do. Even if you're in a relationship, not saying mm-hmm. that you just got to disrespect the nigga. That's not what I mean. Mm-hmm. But just like we was talking last night, if you can't handle it, get your ass out the fire. That part. I'm just saying. So, men, shit, you hearing it yourself from a woman, whether you want to believe it or not, she's still a fucking woman. Okay. So you, you know, they going to love that. You talking about a dyke. This from is dyke. Herself, from <laughs> the woman, women herself. We always talk about how women don't listen to what men tell them. No, f- that men we gotta listen to what women are telling us they're gonna do what they want to do some of them are gonna respect you some of them not some of them are gonna be childish and do it behind your back some of them not they're gonna be in your face with the so we got to either be tight we got to get tight and get the phone and move on find us one that's gonna listen or deal with the and just take pictures and be all right with help you. point <laughs> blame and most not well, most, but a scrap. lot of men do. Oh, uh, that scrap. too. That's all I'm Simple. saying. If y'all gonna be the protectors and you want her to wash dishes every day, be willing to protect every day. Not saying that you're not. Right, right, right. I'm saying in the event she decided to put on a short skirt, in the event she might have on some booty shorts. You know, in the event of all these things, like I feel like, like, like I am a dominant woman. Not all the time I will want my woman to do that. Not because I'm not comfortable with her doing her it's because the way i would have to protect her might send me to prison you know what i'm saying <laughs> right. like just realistically because no i'm not i'm not about to be like yeah what's up gang that's not how that work so with that being said we do have a different conversation but see i'll get security and shit like that simply because i still want her to wear what she want to wear period we've done that before even the kids be like mom why would you wear that they even say mom you gonna let her wear that she be like, let. Nigga, I'm going to do what I want to do. I'm grown. We got one life to live. Period. But anyway, I wish we spoke about this when it Fuck happened. Fuck Kiki Palmer. <laughs> <laughs> got Darius over there. Sad as hell. A lot, a lot of things we talk about is going to be agree to disagree because, you know, men going to feel how they feel and women going to feel how they feel. You know, and I'm in twins. I'm an alien. So that's just <laughs> how that go. But y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. Do you feel like Kiki Palmer was wrong? Uh, do you feel like Alicia Keys was wrong? Do you feel like Usher was wrong? And do you feel like the fans are just entirely too sensitive? I want to know. You got anything else to say? All of the above, really. Hey, uh, yeah. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all.